general, everybody's outlook has been positive. That right now, Southern California retail is a stabilized environment. Um, core assets are doing well. These are uh, environments and communities in high demand, and so they feel very positive. You know, it's it's an interesting time. Um, I think the climate is very strong for digitally native brands who are looking to get into the brick and mortar world, realizing that uh, it's really important to have an omnichannel presence as opposed to just digitally native. Um, uh, you know, from a brand recognition standpoint, it's really important for these uh, these companies to get in front of people and and to have kind of mass exposure that only shopping centers can provide. So. Um, I think more and more are starting to realize that uh, there's more open to buy, a lot of pop-up opportunity that's turning into long-term stores in our shopping center. So I'm, I'm really positive about uh, where we're going uh, with, with the business in the probably next two years. I see a lot more of these pop-ups coming along that will convert to, to uh, longer-term deals. Uh, the climate for deals right now is still overwhelmingly positive. There's a lot of tenants that are still expanding, but certainly everybody's more cautious about the number of stores they need, the location, and I think more now than ever, place matters. Where you go, uh, who, you're, who, you're, who you're near, where you locate, uh, proximity to customers, convenience is really, really critical. We are seeing strong activity from a lot of our development clients, uh, still with uh, ground up work as well as repositioning work. And um, we're also seeing a shift into a lot of mixed use projects, urban infill with mixed use residential retail projects. We're seeing quite a bit of that right now, actually. Well, I think we'll see the trend that we've seen for the last several years continue, which is the shift from commodity-driven retail and retail environments towards more experiential. And what that means is that more food-centric concepts, uh, lifestyle concepts, less, as I said, just pure commodity-driven retail. And what that means is that a lot more emphasis on community engagement spaces, outdoor living rooms for the, the, the local guests and shoppers, and much more attention to those type of environments.